Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. It's nice to see you and it's Friday, so I hope you're ready for the weekend. Uh, to make it easier, I'm having a lovely classic cocktail and I'm gonna try to bring to you more classic recipes, which it's over 200 well-known cocktails. I mean, not just the classics, but well-known cocktails, which it's stood the test of time and it's absolutely fantastic. So today we're doing a cocktail called Adonis, which it's named after the most famous and uh, long-running musical on Broadway with the same name, Adonis. And it's created back in 1887. The musical, I think, first it was on stage 1884. So the cocktails came a few years later, but it's created to celebrate the success of this wonderful Broadway show. So. All you need to do is three ingredients, very nice and easy, and one of them is one favorite of mine, it's a sherry. So you can use Fino sherry like a Tio Pepe or any other sherry you like. In my case, I'm gonna go with Don Jose Oloroso, which is from the Romate Bottega based in uh, Jerez in Spain, and I was lucky to visit last year the Bottega, and it's absolutely fantastic experience. However, it's not because I visit but I love this sherry and it's one of the top five sherry family company because it's still run by the families and it's one of the top five in the world producing fantastic sherry and producing fantastic brandy by the way as well which is called Cardinal Mendoza. I have it here, let me just show you. It's a wonderful brandy so if you never try anything from the Romate Bottega like the Cardinal Mendoza uh, Brandy or Don Jose, Sherry, any of them. I have them all. I have uh, 15, 18 years old and 30. And here on the top I have some extra, like a special 50 years old. But let's do the cocktail. So all we need, it's a cup glass and a steering glass because the cocktail is steered with ice and that's it. So 60 ml of Sherry. That's what is going in your mixing glass. Uh, Fino Sherry I said it's fine, but I do prefer to use my Don Jose Oloroso. However, don't forget, it's what you like. So if you like Tio Pepe, dry Sherry, go with it. Then the next ingredients, it's Martini Rosso. Now, I don't have Martini Rosso, but any Rosso Vermouth, again, it's absolutely fine. I have the Vermouth di Torino, which is one of the kings of the Vermouths, and uh, probably the oldest one, and the one which Italy it's associated with like a vermouth so sorry I'm gonna use that you can use Martini Rosso but I'll say if you can get your hands on Vermouth di Torino I'm pretty sure you can there's on Amazon and everywhere just go with it so you have 30 ml of the Vermouth Rosso now if you use a fino sherry because it's more white the cocktail is gonna be slightly lighter in color so don't want it to put you off the Oloroso it's a uh, aged uh, sherry so it have this nice cackly bar color so this is what it is finally orange bitters so I'm using uh, Angostura orange bitters you can use any again as far as orange bitter so just two to three dashes and that's it and that's your cocktail, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic aperitif cocktail, but we need to finish it. So, drop some ice in your steering glass and give it a good stir to chill down the cocktail. It's a wonderful aperitif. Uh, the sherry and the vermouth is gonna give you this kind of, a, you know, us for uh, enjoying your meal, it's gonna make you more hungry, it's gonna open your palate uh, with a wonderful taste of sweetness and it's just it's just a wonderful sip before meal or even without uh, meal or even after meal but however generally it's an aperitif. So there we go. Nice and cold, we're ready to give it a lovely strain in our cup glass. You can use martini glass if you want, whatever glass you have, it's nice to be served in uh, some elegant glass. That's the whole purpose of the aperitif. You don't need to double strain, just a single strain because it's uh, just a steered cocktail, that's all. And finally, 
a garnish is just a simple orange zest not doing any special garnishes just extract a little bit of the oil squeeze it a few times and just drop it in the glass and that's it ladies and gentlemen that's uh, a world famous and absolutely fantastic cocktail called Adonis named after the Broadway musical so cheers Mmm, it's fantastic. It's very aromatic, off dry. It is off dry because you have a little bit of dryness coming from the sherry, but because it's aged, this one it's a little bit more softer. However, if you're doing it with a dry sherry, with a thin sherry, like a teal pepper, for example, you're gonna have a little bit dryness, but it's gonna be like an off dry because of the rosso vermouth and a lovely citrus flavor from the orange zest and the orange bitter. Fantastic cocktail very easy to make lovely for the weekend so go grab yourself a sherry and a rosso vermouth and start making it until next time guys don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying what you see on the channel don't forget to tune on sunday for another episode of the homemade ingredients and this time i'm making uh, raspberry syrup which it's gonna be Two versions of raspberry syrup, cold infused and cooked raspberry syrup. So if you want to stick around and if you want to watch this, make sure you subscribe and hit this small bell on the side so you get notified soon the video go live, which is going to be on Sunday. And with everything set and everything in place, once again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Sunday with raspberry syrup. Until then. I'll go enjoy this one. Bye.